Good morning. Uh, it's cold down here this morning. It was in the low 30s last night. But I just had to come out here and um, film this mass exodus of cormorants. <clears throat> just like five minutes ago, there was hundreds and hundreds of them in the bayou. Unfortunately, I got out just a little bit late. They're all starting to fly off. Oh man, the last of them are leaving. Pretty crazy though, there just must be a bunch of fish in the bayou and so dolphins were going crazy, the cormorants were going crazy. There's pelicans and seagulls and um, a variety of herons, big blue herons, smaller ones, cattle egret, just all these birds. That was amazing, they're all just filling up the bayou. The last of them are starting to take off now. It's been really kind of just dreary weather. Lots of rain, it's been really cold. This morning it was 32, and um, we actually had some flurries. That was one report. Some flurries. Um, there was a frost on our neighbor's roof, so it's been it's been chilly out. And um, our family just had um, a conference with several other families. Um, great time of fellowship, but it was cold. We're all doing activities on the beach and stuff, and everyone's come down with a cold. Several of our friends who also have colds tested, the results are negative. So I think we're safe, it's, it's not, not corona, just the average flu going through. So sore throats, runny noses, headaches, achiness, kind of all those um, classic symptoms. So we're drinking lots of tea, but we're all doing good, we're just kind of hunkering down. Growing up over in Indonesia, the big sickness we had to look out for was malaria. It was terrible and our whole family's had it several times in a row. It's not fun at all, because in the early mornings and evenings, that's really when the malaria mosquitoes come out. So we'd try to be careful, but there are several occasions where we'd get malaria, and it's just, it's terrible. I'm running high fevers and always throwing up, and it lasts about a week. Um, but yeah, thankfully here in the States, it's already been eradicated, so it's been really nice being able to just go out early mornings, late evenings here in the States and not have to worry about getting bit by mosquitoes or malaria. It's already taken care of. But now we have to look out for Corona. Oh well, always something to look out for. Being here at the house, we've had a little bit more time on our hands, so we've been working on some projects. So this is the Wild Brothers office, and also where I do all my online school. So I kind of use it for um, editing and schoolwork, and then the boys also use it as well. It's kind of the community office space. But um, yeah, it's really fun because this actually used to be the breakfast nook. So we switched into Asher and I's room, and this is where um, the washer and dryer used to be, but we decided it was the perfect spot for an office. And so we used an old door, and we put it right down right here, and it's worked really, really good as an office space. Enough room to put all of our camera stuff, and then the computer as well. So um, yeah, this is where the magic happens. And as we've been kind of not feeling so good, you know, under the weather, we're actually we're still not feeling good. But we've had all this time kind of stuck in the house and we decided to work on a project that we've been wanting to do for a long time and that's make our own Wild Brothers website. So um, we have had a website with Answers in Genesis but it's only had our Adventures in Creation series on it. But for this new website we wanted to have all of the stuff we've done over the last 10 years all centralized on this one website. And so it was kind of a big project because we'd never done anything like that before. You know, building a website is kind of, kind of scary undertaking. But nowadays there's so many tools that actually it wasn't that hard. And um, this is what we created. So we're, we're pretty happy with it, it was a pretty fun project. Um, we're calling it the Wild Brothers Productions. And yeah, it just kind of centralizes all the filming we've done in the last 10 years into one spot. So it turns out we've actually done five different kind of big filming projects um, in the last 10 years. And so we have them all kind of here on our homepage. The first one was um, Growing Up Wild. So this is like super retro stuff. We actually have these over here. Mom and dad did it when we were all really young. It's a homeschool curriculum about um, growing up as missionary kids. And so it's really cool because it documents um, all the kind of ins and outs of life as missionaries. How we got our water, our power, and kind of what life was like living in a remote tribe. And so it's really cool, 15 episode um, series. And yeah, it documents when we were really little. You can see Morgan there, just a little guy. He's got his all his face paint on. 
So we thought we would try to do um, another series with Answers in Genesis, who we just love as a ministry. And they caught the vision and they wanted to partner with us. And so we filmed this um, eight DVD series, Adventures in Creation. And yeah, it was so much fun. And then our next two projects were the vlogs. So there's Highlands to Island and the Wild Way. Yeah, it's so funny looking back on all these different videos as we've made this website, because the old stuff, aha, uh -huh, it's hard to watch. It's really, really good stuff, really solid stuff. It's just, yeah, it's hard to watch yourself on video from way back then. And our final project that we're getting so close to me finished with is um, Wild Brothers Islands of the Four Kings. We are so excited. It is on its final, final stretch. It's been about a year in the making. It's just kind of sat on the back burner and we've been slowly editing through it. It's going to be our longest project yet, over an hour long. And um, it's a great adventure. We were out on Cree Island and we found the remains of this ancient people group from like thousands of years ago. They had left behind pottery and also these ancient burial sites. And so the stuff was just out there in the islands. And so we, we found a lead and we headed out there to try to find more and um, took our cameras along. So it's a great kind of documentary adventure. And um, yeah, we're almost finished with it. Um, we've actually just finished up the post editing and it's almost ready for print. It's been a big transition coming to the States um, with all the internet use. Growing up in the tribe, us boys never, never use the internet. No Facebook, no social media, none of that. I mean, we were lucky if we could get an email that had a picture in it. That's about the capability of our internet. While we're on the island, there's a little more internet, but yeah, just coming back to the States, it's been, it's been pretty crazy. The internet is um, used for a lot of stuff here. As we've um, transitioned into that, it's been good because we've seen all the amazing uses you can use with the internet. Um, our vlog being one. It's been so cool to be able to um, share our philosophies and worldview with other people and encourage them. But um, we've also seen quite a few bad sides to the internet and um, it can be a dangerous spot. And so it's really important that, like in all areas of life, we're using the internet for God's glory and we're not becoming a slave to it. One thing I noticed about the internet coming from kind of an outsider's point of view is that it can be very entertaining, almost to a point where it can be too entertaining and it takes up all of a person's time. Now me personally, I don't enjoy social media very much. Facebook, even YouTube, not a big fan of it, which is kind of ironic because we have our own YouTube channel. But um, it's not, it's not really my thing. But movies and all that sort of stuff, it can just be so entertaining and take up all of your time where, you know, you don't have time for other stuff and it becomes what you're thinking about, what you want to do. And I see that as a very um, unhealthy lifestyle. It's really good to just um, sit back and think and not have constant sources of entertainment. Time to meditate on God's word and time to um, be in prayer and just being communion with God is really, really important. And I feel like sometimes the internet can be a big um, thing that gets in the way of that. It's something that we should all be careful of. That being said, the internet has a lot of amazing blessings. I think that we should be, as Christians, using the internet for God's glory and sharing his message because it's an amazing opportunity to reach so many people. And that's kind of the wild way of looking at the internet. Passports are really fun to look through. Um, it's fun to look through all the different stamps and the different places you've been. Ours have always been pretty filled out, just traveling through different airports and stuff. But um, man, 2020 is over, so it's actually, um, it's pretty crazy. It's the longest I've ever been in the States. I've never been in the States for a year or more at one time. So uh, kind of a landmark in my lifetime at least, but there's a lot to look forward to in this next year. Um, Mom and Dad actually are going back over to Indo, back to Indonesia. And it turns out I'm actually gonna be going with them. So I know, you know, it seemed like not too long that we just got back from the island. You know, we, we finished our vlog, Highlands to Island, and we started this new vlog, The Wild Way, but I'm gonna be going back. So it's not kind of gonna be a continuation of that in a way because the boys are gonna be doing The Wild Way here in the States, and I'm gonna be filming um, overseas as well. So it'll kind of be like, flashback to the island days. The original plan was to actually um, be heading back in a week or two from now, but I actually have to get a new passport. My last one was um, five years ago. So I was still, you have to be um, 16 in order to get like an adult passport and then it lasts for 10 years. So I still have like the minor passport. So I only have it for five years. Anyway, so I have to get a brand new passport and it's gonna take it couple weeks longer than we expected. Anyway, so there's a little delay there, but I guess it's just more time to hang out with the boys before I have to head back. So 
it's going to be a def definitely a new chapter of life. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, but kind of dreading it at the same time. It's going to be tough um, leaving the boys, but there's also going to be a lot of exciting things going on. Um, I'm excited to see what the Lord has for us over there. Definitely a whole lot of adventures. I mean, you guys saw with Highland Style, and there's a lot of cool stuff out there. So hopefully I'll, I'll find some neat ways to document that. And it'll just be fun because us boys will be tag teaming back and forth with a vlog. It'll kind of flash over to me, see what Asher's doing on the island, and then go back to the boys, and the boys will be doing stuff here in the States. So I feel like it'll be a cool, cool niche. This time, we're not going to be living actually on the island itself. Last um, last time we were in Raja Ampat, we were living on the island of Tree. But um, this time, we're going to be on an actual boat. So I'll be first mate. So it's going to be a different year. Um, I should have made my New Year's resolution to be becoming more tan because I'll definitely be tan by the time I come back to the States for the wedding. Thanks for watching The Wild Way, and double thanks if you've already liked or subscribed to our YouTube channel. If you want to get more involved with us, visit our Patreon website. Hit the link below to learn how you can become a member of our Patreon team and partner with us. Also, you'll get awesome benefits, like exclusive vlog videos, like Wild Brothers merchandise, and a lot more.